how far away to be <laughs> from the camera. I don't know, but <laughs> okay. So hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Anna. I am an illustrator and a crafter of all things naturey and whimsical and everything like that, because I'm a child. <laughs> but so welcome to my first studio vlog. Um, I at first was thinking, okay, I need to make sure that my studio is spotless so that people don't know how messy I am. But then I was thinking, that's completely against the point and I need to just be honest because that's what I want to do. I want to keep everything transparent in between you and me. So I'm just going to take you along while I clean my studio because I'm a mess. <laughs> so let's go, you're going to keep me company. <laughs> also, I just noticed that 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 calendar, ooh, that one right there, is still on August. So that's gonna be the first thing I fix because I totally missed so many months. That's gonna be really heart-wrenching because it's a Zelda calendar and I love Zelda, so I'm really sad that I totally missed, what? September, October, yeah, I missed two, two whole months. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's go fix that. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. <gasps> My shower's mask. Yeah. <laughs> My baby, Twilight Princess. This is why I was afraid to unplug this lamp because now it is unsynced with my other lamp. Great. <laughs> I think I fixed it. <laughs> Good enough for now. <laughs> I mainly wanted this like shelf thing to be more in line with this because otherwise it was like really off. It was just really off, so <laughs> I think I fixed it. This is the best tea in the world, okay? So good. <laughs> There's a lot of tea in here. Help! I used that one today. <laughs> Fell on the floor. Whatever. My floor is clean, it's fine. Next thing to tackle is my desk. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Cause I have no idea where to put stuff. Thank you. 
hopefully this is a good idea. Lifting up my desk. Problem is you can't really see the box. You see the top of the box, that's good enough. I'm so excited. I think we got the lilac version. It's whatever Michael's had in stock, so. down so I'm just gonna have to tilt it. Ooh. Is it lilac or is it the rose gold? I can't tell. Looks kind of pink. It's so pretty. I'm gonna lift it up so I can show you guys better. Silica gel. I love that I say don't eat. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, obviously. Ooh. Oh, mats. I think it came with like a yeah. saving boxes. I don't know about you guys. I like save boxes for all of my electronics and then just like shove them in my closet. I don't know if I'm crazy or not. I mean, I'm crazy, but I don't know if that's crazy. wrap on it. I think it's pink. I really can't tell. The inside's gonna tell us because it's not as, I don't think the inside's shiny, so. It's funny, like with the light, it makes different colors. On camera, it looks, I don't know, it looks purple and then it looks pink. in front of my sewing machine, I think that would be a good space. Can I open it manually? How does it open? <gasps> so cute! It is the pink. <gasps> it's so pretty! Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> now, do I have to close this first? I'm gonna like plop it in place and then read through, open that little box. Yeah. Okay, it's like a perfect fit right next to my 3D printer. I'm a cricket. 
I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna lower this back down and open that box. Okay, my battery is flashing, so let's do this quickly. I really need to buy another battery, but we're gonna open this. I think it comes with like paper and maybe like some fabric. I can't really remember. Now, do we follow the instructions or do we just keep looking? I think we keep looking. Little welcome sheet. Ooh. It's pretty. A little welcome. The rotary blade that comes specifically with the Cricut Maker, which is one of the reasons why I got the Cricut Maker, because I want to be able to cut felt. That would save me a lot of time. Pen. There we go. It's the rotary blade cap. USB cord. And warranty stuff. Always good to have. Okay. Let's go back to this. Unleash this beauty. Okay. Oh, it's got the little instructions on the back. Okay, cool. Plug in power. I wish I had like an overtop view, but I just am not that fancy. Get connected. Okay. Cool. So it seems like they walk you through like setting it up and everything. So I'm probably gonna do that off camera and like do that while my camera charges and then I will be back. Yeah. Okay, so that was super easy to set up. Let me see. I had to move my, uh, what is it called? Sewing machine over here, which is fine. Um, because the Cricut needs like a lot more space behind it than I knew says like 10 inches of space behind it but that's fine um i just wanted to show you because i just finished like setting it up and look at the cute little bear Wait, stop focusing on my face focus on the bear please help oh my gosh i just need to move out of frame focus on the bear focus on the bear on the bear. Why are you not focusing on the bear? <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> What's it? Did that? Was it? And it was like super fast. Yay! <laughs> He's so cute. So now I'm just going to clean up the new mess that I've made on my desk because look at this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to clean this. Oh my goodness, okay, so I just cut the felt pattern of, uh, of this little guy on the Cricut and it worked so well, like, oh my gosh, that's so, that makes things so much easier. So now I can make these little guys so much faster. Let me show you like a, stop focusing on my face. 
So like I hand embroider the little faces. They're little like rock. In my brain, they're like a little rock uh, creature that uh, runs around in the forest. There we go. <laughs> so, hello, hello. Today is gonna to be a bit more of a artsy kind of day, thankfully. So, I am going to be making some stickers for one of these little guys. I'm gonna be making them into stickers so that once my sticker paper arrives in the mail, I can have my Cricut cut them out. So let's do that.
the Cricut definitely like didn't cut it perfectly like let's see it's like really the margins like really small so it's just a little push to the left for some reason so I need to tweak that and also the colors are definitely more like muted on the like sticker paper so I'm gonna see if I can tweak the like printer settings because these are like the actual colors they're just on like uh, matte photo paper so got to do some tweaks so hopefully everything works out we'll see but since I was using a sheet of paper to just print those four I decided to also print to see how these would turn out just on like paper I like the color of that one a lot and then little card so yeah that's what I've been working on but that's that's it so far <laughs> I set it up it prints it cuts felt really nicely which is lovely and I also have I made this little guy just to test the just to test the um, pattern that I had. I'm gonna like drop them in my tea if I'm not careful. Um, so I'm gonna give them like a little leaf and then like depending on whatever element he is, they'll get like a little flower or something, you know? Um, yeah, and so then I was thinking, I only did the embroidery on one side cause I was just like, I'm too tired to do, <laughs> to do it on all sides. And then I was thinking, wouldn't it be cute if I got like those little tiny terracotta pots and like plop them in because then it would also it would also stand back. all right so i did cricket's uh built-in calibration thing like through their um cricket maker program i can't remember what it's called but it's just like it prints out a calibration sheet for the like print and cut calibration and then it cuts a little square and then it cuts little lines and you kind of use that to calibrate your machine and it is so much better like the outlines correct come on please focus it's being rude but okay that's a little bit better but yeah so like the cuts are like way better around let me find the little air guy beforehand so like on the left side of the sticker this is the like first time I cut it on the left side of the sticker it like cuts super close to all of these edges so that was super annoying um, but now all the edges are really even so hopefully you can tell a difference this one's like the new version when it's after it's been calibrated and everything so it worked the color's still a little off you, like this is just printed on like matte photo paper um, and it's like definitely more saturated but like that can just be tweaked with like printer settings hopefully so we're getting there Needless to say, I did a lot of editing on the stickers for the color settings, but I think I finally reached a color that I'm happy with, so that's good. And for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna be sewing.